Yeah, when I started playing, uh, most of them were coffee houses or charity events, fundraisers on campus in college. It really didn't lend itself to much electric playing, and so I got myself an acoustic electric guitar that I could bring with me. And uh, from there, it, I kind of started learning songs that lend themselves better to acoustic music. And from there, I started writing songs that would lend themselves to acoustic music. And I really, I really fell in love with how raw and authentic acoustic music sounds. So, you know, there's no effects or anything like that. So I really liked it. Generally, for me, songwriting, the music comes first. It'll be something that I'm playing around with on the guitar and either I can't get it out of my head or um, it just, it sounds good. I, I usually record it first on a voice memo. I'll record the, um, the chords and I'll write the chords down so that I can revisit it and play it the same way. After that, I'll listen to it a bunch and basically just kind of think about where the music takes me. So, you know, when I'm listening to the song, it's, you know, where, where am I mentally when I hear it? And so that, that way I try to fit lyrics to the music. Um, sometimes I'll come up with an idea, oh, that would, that would be a good song idea. And then I'll write the music that way. So it's, it's pretty free-flowing. Free I don't really concern myself with, you know, having a strict process. There are a couple themes. Uh, I think a lot of it is young love, because that's where I've been in my life. And um, I think those, those songs have done well for me. There's also um, more personal songs, like Not Yet is for me about baseball, but for a lot of other people it's about letting go of something that you know is, is wrong for you. And those songs I really like to share with people because not only are they personal for me, but they'll become personal for other people. So.